Hi everyone! Today we'll be discussing how to upscale seamless textures and how you can achieve it using a powerful node-based image editing program called Chainer. When it comes to upscaling textures, one of the biggest challenges, of course, is avoiding seams or visible borders in the final output. But with Chainer, you won't have to worry about that anymore. Not only can you upscale any texture with ease, you can also blend outputs from different upscalers, apply a variety of filters, and batch process an entire folder of images all in one go. This makes Chainer an incredibly versatile and efficient tool for texture upscaling. To get started, simply go to the download link in the description to install Chainer. Once you go here, you just need to click on releases. That way you get the latest version. Then click on download on whichever platform you have. So I'm on Windows, so I need to install this. Once you install that, um, it will prompt you to install the necessary dependencies um, on the first opening of Chainer. But if it didn't prompt you to install those or you didn't see and you got to click somewhere else, you can just go over here on the top right, manage dependencies and click um, the install buttons over here to install them manually. Once everything is set up, we'll be ready to upscale seamlessly. So this is the node setup for upscaling a texture so you can just copy here and stop but i'll go through how you can like edit this to to apply to your specific model since i'm using this specific model a 4x model it's slightly different for a 2x model so um if you understand what's happening here you can simply use different models and combine them together and you won't have to worry about that but basically what we're doing is we'll start by expanding the image slightly. Um, we have a node called a border, which will expand the pixels around the image by 16 pixels. And every time we upscale it, um, those borders get bigger as well. So we need to um, remove those borders afterwards by using a crop border. Then um, since we're at an 8K resolution at the second upscale, we need to resize it down to 4K texture, then save it somewhere where we want to. <clears throat> so let's get started on a fresh file. I'm gonna create a new file, don't save. And first we need to use our model. So the great thing about Chainer is there is a drag and drop feature for both the images and the models that you have. So what you can do is just go over to your um, stable diffusion folder and go over to the models. So on your um, web UI installation directory, go just go to models and go to LDSR or VSRGAN or VSRGAN to get the specific model that you want. But I'm looking for uh, the anime one, the anime 6B. So I'm just gonna drag that over over here and now it will um, load it up as a new node that we can use. We can also do that for images so i'm gonna drag over an image over here and it will do the same thing now we need to first create our border so let's go and search you can search by right clicking create border then drag that over here to make things simpler or like easier to understand i like to add a math node over here in between these two guys so what we'll do is i'm gonna put this on the create border so orange to orange, then this math node, I'm just going to add one, then make this multiply, then make this 16. So this is basically a 16 um, value. Then we put this blue socket to this blue socket. Then we need to add an upscale image here, then add another math node over here. So I'm going to connect this math node to this blue socket. I'm going to make this multiplied by 4 because since we have a 4x model, we also need to multiply the border when we crop it out. And since we added 16 pixels um, when, when it was 512 by 512, when, it, when that gets upscaled 4 times, we also need to multiply, it, um, multiply the 16 number 4 times and use that to crop the border. So I'm going to connect this load model into this model of the upscale image and correct this orange socket on this 
um, image socket over here. And from here, you can see um, the resolution it's at right now. So since this is a 4X model and we're using a 512 by 512 generated image, um, it will come out as a 2K image uh, once it's upscaled. Right now, um, there's no like easy way to um, resize things so conveniently into 4K or 8K or things like that. So the usual workflow is just upscaling it enough then downscale it back down to the resolution that you want. And since we want 4K resolution, we need to upscale it again. So I'm gonna copy this, then I'm gonna connect the upscaled image to this one and use the same model for this one. Then I'm gonna copy the math again, copy the result to this math node and multiply it by four again. And you know, you, you can keep going if you want like, um, I'm not sure like a 16K or like, even bigger than um, 8K resolution, but I, but I think that's a bit overkill for um, normal textures. But now that we're here, we need to add a crop border. So crop border, um, connect this upscaled image over here and connect this blue socket over here. Now we're gonna crop 256 pixels off of the border of the upscaled image. Oh, also, uh, forgot to mention, on this create border node, um, make sure to use wrap tile. I'm not sure if that does anything. Um, other people said it doesn't really do anything, but um, for the sake of um, avoiding the actual seams, th the best solution would be using wrap tile when we create the border. Then since we have an 8K texture, we don't really need an 8K texture. We just want the 4K one, right? So we're gonna resize by clicking and search for resize and look for a resolution. Then connect this over here. Then you just need to output whatever resolution you want. So I'm gonna put 4096 by 4096. And um, you can leave it at auto, but usually when it's downscaling, I think they use box for this one. Then after that, we're going to save the image by saving image and select it over here. If you want, you can use the same image directory, which we have here on the load image. You can just use that and put it over here and just give it a new name. Or you can add a subdirectory path, which you can just name, which will basically create a new folder where this image will be saved into. Or you can just add a new name for it so that it doesn't overwrite um, this image. So it still doesn't have an image name. Um, that's why it's outputting this error. So we need to add on this name. To disconnect um, links, we just need to go over to the middle of the link to disconnect it. And you can also look over here on where to um, place the saved file. So I'm gonna pick this one. And, and to save ourselves another step, I'm gonna use a view image external app, this one over here. Um, this will basically open your default um, image viewing software. I use Nomax, but yours might be a Windows Photo Viewer, and it will automatically open the saved file using uh, Windows Photo Viewer, and you don't have to go into the directory. Once we have all the setup, um, it's just a matter of playing the node setup by clicking this one. So I'm gonna play and you can see how much resources being used up over here. Right now it's using all of my RAM. Now the upscaling is done and um, this image popped up and now this is a 4k resolution of the original image which was 512 by 512. You can see over here it's 4k by 4k and basically that's about it. I'm just gonna show you a bunch of other things that I've learned about um, using this. Um, if you want, there's also a text append, which you can do lots of smart stuff with it. Say you have image name over here, and then you add upscaled to the next um, text. So what this will do is it will use the original image name, then dash, then upscaled at the end. You can also put in multiple one and after that you can put this on the image name 
So it will copy the original name, but only add upscale at the very end of the image name. So there's that as well. Um, if you want to select multiple nodes, you can press shift and drag. So I'm going to show you how to do this for a batch of, um, for a folder of images you want to upscale. Basically, it's something like this, where, where you have a load image iterator. You can just search that load image iterator, then um, put in a directory that you have. It's slightly different, but the concept is the same. But say I want to upscale these images, right? And I'm just going to copy these, uh, this directory, right? I'm going to copy this and go to image file iterator. Put that over here. Then use this, put the same directory over here on this prompt. Then um, all of our nodes needs to be inside um, kind of container. So everything is going to work. Basically the same way. I'm gonna to go to Ethergon again and load my model in. I'm gonna add a math node and add a border. Okay, border ten to one, ten to sixteen, get multiply, add it over here, put the image over here, then add an upscale, get image, create another math node, and use the image from the create border, select and put it onto the upscale image. For now, since my PC can really handle 8K textures. I'm just gonna upscale it once. And from here, we can just save it. So this will output like, um, if I'm not mistaken, a 2K image. Then I'm just gonna add the save image over here. Um, use the same image directory, but add a different um, subdirectory. Use the same, or I'm gonna use the same image name, but I'm gonna append something else into it, like what we did before name upscaled then over here and use this upscaled image over here oh um i forgot i need to remove the border crop border put this over here over here over here so i think this will be like around 2k but you can like you know do another um clean resize resolution um if you want it to be a specific size but i'm okay with just um having the image around 2k so i'm gonna let this run and you can see it's now starting over here on the upscaled folder which you can see it's now generating these images hello future me here it kept upscaling the subdirectories that where the images were saved so i recommend saving the upscaled images on a different path so that it doesn't keep you know upscaling and ups upscaling and upscaling but yeah, that's about it. Uh, if you enjoyed watching this video, please make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. If you want to learn more about my workflow using Krita and Stable Diffusion together, make sure to click here to learn more about that.